What's up you guys, I'm back with another video and this one is a very special one. Now obviously you guys know what kind of video this is just by looking at the title, but before I get into it I just want to say thank, thank you guys. I wouldn't have gotten this far if it wasn't for you guys. You guys are my support team, <laughs> but yeah, um, I appreciate you guys so much and I, I can't believe I'm able to do these things now because of you guys and I, I thank you for that. So yeah, regardless, as you can see here, not my usual setup. This is temporary just for this video. I need some quiet space, but yeah, as you can see here, I... I actually played Batman Arkham Shadow early. Well, I mean, not the full thing, just like a few minutes of it. Okay, so here's a quick mini vlog slash voiceover. So anyways, um, this is all thanks to Viral Nation and MetaQuest. They flew me out to Germany and I got to not only attend my first ever Gamescom in person, but I also got to try out 45 minutes of Batman Arkham Shadow. And man, I just gotta say, if the rest of the game is as good as the 45 minutes I played, we got an all-timer here. This could be an all-timer. Batman Arkham Shadow is a groundbreaking new entry in the Arkham franchise, which allows players to become Batman and immerse themselves into the same blend of exploration, stealth, and free-flowing combat the series is known for. Some fan-favorite gameplay features in Batman Arkham Shadow was taken from the original Arkham games, including the stealthy exploration, Batman's iconic gadgets, well most of them, not all of them, and the return of Detective Vision. Roger Craig Smith is back as Batman alongside Troy Baker who will be voicing Harvey Dent, Tara Strong as Dr. Harleen Quinzel, Mark Rolston as James Gordon, Carrie Payton is going to be Otis Flanagan, Earl Balin will be Lyle Bolton, Chelsea Kane will be Barbara Gordon, and Martin Jarvis will be Alfred Pennyworth. So I attended Gamescom. I went to the business section and there was like this whole box dedicated to Meta and Batman Arkham Shadow. And me, Caboose, and Gotham Paladins got to try out Batman Arkham Shadow. Like I am being for real, my love for the Arkhamverse might be back. I need to play the actual full game now. I didn't really have much expectations, but once I saw the gameplay trailer, I, my hype went up a little bit more. And once I actually played the game and I actually became the Batman, dude, it was it was such a fun time, man. So, yeah, there's not much to say here. It just feels like an authentic Batman Arkham game, but VR. And it kind of brings a fresh take to the franchise where a lot of the familiar stuff is there, but it's first person and VR, therefore it kind of hits differently, you know? I will admit it did take a while to get used to the gadgets, the stealth takedowns, the gliding, but once you actually get the gist of it, it, it's a lot of fun. I spoke to the Arkham Shadow developers, especially Ryan Payton, both of them are very nice guys by the way, and yeah, we got to have a small discussion and what kind of game this is. You can feel like they put a lot of love and care into this game. So anyways, Arkham Shadow takes place after Arkham Origins and most of the iconic Arkham gadgets are returning like the Bat Claw, the Grapple, the Batarang, Explosive Gel, and the Shock Gloves which I unfortunately did not use because that was not in the demo I tried out. But yeah, not all of them will be coming back. The combat in this game is actually pretty good, and especially the stealth takedowns, it was just really fun being the Batman, you know? The punches felt, you know, real, and the counterattacks, like it took a while to get used to it, but there's a form you gotta do. You'll notice on the screen if you're getting the game or the VR headset, but yeah, it, it's all great, man. It's really good. There is a lot of Easter eggs and details in this game, and you can tell the developers actually put a lot of time and care into it because there's just a lot. While I was playing, Roger Craig Smith himself actually came to visit us. And dude, I finally got to meet him, man. It was such an honor. He's one of my favorite voice actors. And he, he just, he, he's just, dude, it was just so unreal, man. It was such an unreal experience and the fact that I finally got to meet Roger Craig Smith was so cool, man. I got to talk to him, shake his hand, took a picture with him. Dude, it was such a fun time. Then I got to do an interview for MetaQuest regarding the game. I got to give my thoughts on it. 
I think the video should be out by now. I could be wrong though, depending on when this video is out. Just like in previous installments, there are puzzles in this game. I did not play any puzzles in this demo. It was not in the demo. And that was really it. I mean, I'm excited for this game. I played some of it, and now I want more. I hunger for more, and I cannot wait to play it. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to do my best to actually do a playthrough. I've never done a playthrough through a VR headset before, so I need to figure out how to do that. But yeah, I am getting the game, I am going to play it, I will probably play it with you guys once I figure out how to do that, but yeah, I cannot wait for you guys to get this game and just check it out, because it just, it, just, it just feels like an Arkham game, man. My love for the Arkhamverse is back. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to Viral Nation and MetaQuest if you're watching for flying me out to Germany and trying out Arkham Shadow and just having this whole event with Gamescom and outside Gamescom. It was such a fun event, and I, I just want to thank you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Arkham Shadow comes out in October 2024, and I cannot wait to play it. Peace out.